Hello, Hi. hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. I'm very well, thank you. Uh, congratulations on the film. Oh, thank you. I've enjoyed watching the trajectory of your career thus far with, you know, being in the pit of things in Ready or Not, <laughs> to screaming in Scream, to doing G.I. Joe. So how did you how did you get your wrap your head around not just portraying this character, but the whole kind of opera of it all? How did you, how did oh you my find gosh. this? Was this a bigger challenge than the other ones that you've done so far? It wasn't, uh, I don't think it was a bigger challenge. It was just a different challenge. Um, I don't know if I've wrapped my head around opera singing <laughs> still. Uh, I think I just blacked out and tried to do the best I could. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like to do different things. I try not to get too um, pigeonholed into one genre. So I was really glad I could do this period piece, especially with Scream coming out to have this balancing it out is um, was great. Yeah, I was just talking to Lucy actually and saying about you know how you get into the character and obviously there's a rich history with all these characters of stuff we do know and stuff we don't know. But I asked her about the, the big hair which is, I can imagine, uh, a, ch a challenge. Yours is yours is quite quite big. Tell me about uh, having 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 to have that as part of your, your Mine character. Was... She was saying it looks a bit. Sometimes it was too big and looked like the woman from Martha's. Actually, <laughs> quite, quite I think tall. Lucy's was like insane, like queen sized hair. Mine was a little bit more manageable. Um, I guess when the when we did the opera scenes. I couldn't really move my head at all. It was hard if we had very long days. Um, I would sort of nap standing up, leaning against a wall like a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I think that's what the guys who play Batman do. They have to they have to sleep against a, a big wooden thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're the same. It, it's the same well, thing. Chevalier, Batman. It's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same thing. And uh, I, I'm a huge fan of, of of Kelvin as a as a performer. And in this, I mean, he's just extraordinary in this as well. Tell me about being being around him because it's a role that is a, 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 as with all of your roles that you have, very very challenging. But you all pull it off. So, so well. Tell me about working with, with him because obviously your relationship is, is centred to, to the film. Oh, he's wonderful and um, really inspiring just the how much he poured his heart and soul, sweat and tears into this role. He would be practising the violin at all hours of the morning and fencing through the night and he broke his collarbone and he was still going, still... <laughs> playing the violin, um, he had no days off. He just um, pushed himself, but still um, kept a smile on his face and was so lovely and welcoming and really set a good tone for the whole shoot. And just finally, before I go very quickly, I've just I've just literally seen a photo of you in Asriel. You know when we might get that because again, you, you know your oh, face sure. covered in blood. And it, sounds, <laughs> it sounds incredible. Do you know if we'll get to see that anytime soon? I don't know. I should text the director and see what's going on with that. Um, I'll let you know <laughs> as soon as he replies. <laughs> Good. That look, it sound looks and sounds incredible. So I'm looking forward. To yeah, it. hopefully. Uh, lovely to talk to you. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you so you. much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys.